In this video, I'll show you how to create the carousel effect like this and have these videos rotate around your head. Let's get to it. So now what we're going to do using After Effects, first thing you'll do is you'll upload your footage to your composition. You duplicate your footage, okay, and then you'll mask yourself out. As you can see here, I masked myself out. And it's a very clean cut on my head because why? I'm bald. You don't have to be bald, but you know what I mean? But look, look, just look how clean that cut is, man. <laughs> All right, make sure again you re rename it Mask Layer. Just so you know, you won't get it confused. Right, we'll create new solid. Once you create a new solid, you can make it any color, honestly, uh, but you have to make sure to name it. Name it rotation. We can uh, change the size to whatever we want. Change the size and make it smaller. Uh, you don't really have to have it this big. And again, make sure it's 3D. Hide the rotation, you don't really need it right now. Next, we'll create a new composition. Click right here for new composition. Name your compositions, always. Uh, for this one, we're gonna name it shot one. Okay, I'll have four shots. Shot one, two, three, and uh, intro, which is to this video that I'm making. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it doesn't matter the background, click okay. First thing you'll do here is you'll upload your footage. For me, I'll just add this London trip that I had. Okay, now that I've done that, we'll create two shape layers. The first one, we'll name it, just keep a shape layer, just find shape layer one. For the first one, we're just gonna have it as a just a stroke uh, without the fill. And make the stroke 15 or 10. I think I'll make it 10. 10 is better because the edges are smaller. Now, go to your rectangle and then change the real roundness to, I'd say make it 100 because it will look nicer. Duplicate your shape layer and rename it mask layer. For the mask layer, you'll have it fill, but with no, uh, no stroke. Now, in here, if you don't see these toggles, the matte toggle, uh, just click on toggle switches mode, and then you'll see the matte, the track matte. In the track matte, for your video, you'll click on mask layer, and then boom. Now what we have is just masked that rectangle shape that we created uh, with the smooth edges. So here's the reason why we did two shapes. You can literally just do one shape, okay, which is the shape layer in that case. But what's gonna happen is you won't have the white edges. I wanted to have those white edges, it looks nicer. Uh, we'll go back to our project and then we create second composition. Now this one will be easier because all you have to do is obviously name it shot two. What you're gonna do is you just go back to your shot one, copy the shape layers and then paste them into the shot two. Just add the next video that you want. Now I have this shot of downtown Chicago that I took. It's straightforward, like just, I'm just picking the shot that I wanted. Put it at the end. And now same thing, just mask layer, same steps. Same thing goes out for shot three and the intro that I will have. So I can just fast forward. What we're gonna do, we'll add our compositions into our uh, project. I'll put it between the mask layer and your original footage. As you can see, it's right behind me, it's fine. We can make it smaller. Make it as small as you want, honestly. Um, and it's, it's preference in that case. Again, look at that mask cut, cuz. Remember when I told you, if you don't make your mask layer 3D, this is what happens. The footage will stay behind your head. It will never come in front because it does, it's not a 3D. So, now that we got this away, next we will add all our all the other shots that we have shot two three and uh the intro same thing make it smaller as you want once we add all um all the footage in there and i normally put it behind my head you can hide them all and turn on back your uh, rotation again like i said make everything 3d we'll set keyframes for rotation in that case, I'll probably do it like one rotation and a half. Just pick whip all the footage that we have, except the mask and the original footage. We'll have the intro, shot one, two, and three, all picked whipped to uh, the rotation. And for best view, to do this quicker, I found that the best way to do it to have your both views, two views, and then make it top, make the second view from the top. Set them up as like one behind you, one in front of you, one to your left, one to your right. I've rotated that one. 
and uh, the left and the right. Now when we rotate, see, we're getting there. It's rotating. So now my uh, the ones on the front was a bit further, so I'm gonna have to fix that maybe. Set your opacity to 50 because it will look more realistic. Um, and also you can see your, yourself, uh, like you can see your character or the character behind it or whatever you're trying to do, rotate these videos around. For example, if you want to do it around this mic, you can also look nicer if the mic is showing a bit. So yeah, as I found 50, it's good. So how I wanted to do it is, it drops on top of my head and then start rotating. So here is what I'm trying to do. It comes here and then look, it drops slowly on top of my head. See that? So you, you change the position for the rotation. Start from the top and then bring it to the bottom and then ease out uh, the frames. And then once you do that, you know, it's just makes it smoother. Now, and then at the end, I want it to come and start this video that we're working on, the, the starter of this video. I've set the keyframes um, and then I've set it to rotate and then stop at my video. <laughs> All right, well, this is it then. Thanks for watching again and then I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.